And a historic building in Minneapolis that sat vacant for years is now a food hall, bringing some new concepts to each street. Shane Wells joins us from the Whittier neighborhood with a first look at each street crossing. What's old is new again. Welcome to Eat Street Crossing. We're at 28th and Nicolette, Minneapolis. We have Jason Miller. He is the operations director of this new beautiful space. This amazing spot. Old new that. space. Yes. yes. Okay, quick wrap. What was this building? So this building used to be the Twin City Scenic Company, and they used to make theater backdrops in here. Uh, it's 100 years old, and uh, we're trying to keep that fresh life and a little bit of what happened here uh, going. Okay, and we'll see that throughout our tour. Absolutely, So you absolutely. walk in, right away you see kiosks. kiosks. Is this how you order? Uh, so you can order here. Uh, we have a few different ways, but we have uh, all of our locations are here on the kiosk. So you can come in and order through the kiosk, or if you'd like, we can go up to any counter and okay. place an order at any counter. I do like when they text you like, hey, your food's ready, yes. and then you just walk up and grab it. Absolutely. So there's six concepts in here. Yes. We're going to try to quick wrap and quick. give a little overview of all of them. Absolutely. So our, our sushi concept or sushi dori, dori means street so sushi, street sushi is what that on is east on street. east street so uh chef john and chef jerry really came up with an amazing menu fun approachable but street food not what you're necessarily not used typical, to not typical okay you gotta walk by this gigantic wine wall yes our, our wine wall any bottle on this is 25 dollars. just grab we will grab it for you and you can go sit down and say, enjoy well, yourself how am i supposed to grab that one up i top? have them replicated so we don't have to climb too high but oh. we do uh require spider spider sense to get I thought up that there. might be fun, but yeah. I guess not. Uh, we all know Bebe Zito very Bebe well. Zito ice cream. We all know it. We all love it. We all crave it. Amazing ice cream chef Ben is coming up with for us. No uh, doubt. Chocolate mezcal. That's all I can say. And now the Bebe Zito team is expanding. The Bebe Zito team has expanded to Oro Pizzeria. Uh, Oro is a Brazilian word for gold, and it is amazing. The smells are fantastic. The pizza is really cool. So that Brazilian style of fun toppings combined with uh, just great flavor. Their burgers, we knew they had good burgers too. It was like ice cream and they wowed us with burgers. You can't build a food hall without a burger and without a great fried chicken sandwich. And okay. who better to do it than Ben and Gabby? I mean, this is amazing. And now this is kind of cool. You go through this doorway Absolutely. and that's where you get to Ramen Shoten. You're not leaving the space, but you're kind of leaving the space, you know? And, and as we walk feel. into uh, something almost just pulled right off of the street in Japan. Uh, Shoten means shop, so this is our ramen shop. Uh, off to the side, complete with a slurping only counter <laughs> that you would expect to see at any sort of ramen izakaya right in Japan. Quick climb of the stairs and this cool space, the sewing room. The sewing room. So when I mentioned it was a, the Twin City Scenic Company, they used to build theater backdrops here. And this is the room where they had all the sewing machines shut up, making these huge theater backdrops. So we wanted to keep the name The Sewing Room. This new space will be open for everyone to come check out on Saturday. If you want to peruse ahead of time, you can check them out on Instagram. It's at Eat Street Crossing. Back to you.